Hello, my name is George and in today's video I will be doing a quick review on NVIDIA's new Game Ready Driver 455.87WHQL. Um, this is the latest driver and it delivers day one support for the new RTX Minecraft beta. And um, right now what you see here is, is uh, just a Java version with... Uh, Let's see, it is just the just the 114.4 um just Optify in HD with let me see. It is SUS PTGI E12 installed on here. So it's nothing really special. Um hopefully we will see something incredible come out of Minecraft that actually leverages um, RTX features on the uh, RTX cards currently I am playing on a RTX 2080 Ti and um, I'm gonna go out on the limb and say that it's going to look better than this hopefully but in any case um, I'm just kind of delivering this new 445.87 driver review uh, slash overview while I'm kind of just playing the game and kind of teasing um, RTX features for people that have not seen um, RTX shaders uh, or via people that have not seen RTX shaders on PC. So first things first, 4.4.4.5.87 4, 4, uh, is a game ready driver and as always it provides the best possible gaming experience uh, for all the new major releases. One of the major releases is game ready driver with RTX beta Minecraft. So uh, this game ready driver provides the latest performance optimizations, profile and bug fixes for Minecraft RTX beta. Uh, and uh, that's basically the main feature about this new driver, this new Nvidia driver. And uh, not only that, but uh, if you're playing Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2 campaign remastered, then this will be applicable to you. If you also play Saints Row and the third, Saints Row uh, the Third Remastered and uh, Snow Runner, then this will be applicable to you as well. So, uh, yeah. So far, uh, I have been awaiting this release uh, for quite some time, hopefully so we can get a better performance while running RTX features, or I don't know how it will be implemented exactly. I will know uh, tomorrow. Uh, on April 16th, this uh, new RTX Minecraft beta does go live and uh, I'm very excited to see how it actually performs uh, compared to this uh, 114.4 version with RTX shaders that are only utilizing the CUDA core so it's kind of a brute force approach versus a really optimized approach that will be coming tomorrow um, so uh, just as a side note, I always tell people, please use uh, NVIDIA uh, driver on installer DDU with the newest version. I will have it linked in the description below. Please do not update to this driver if you do not plan on playing RTX Minecraft Beta, Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2 Campaign Remastered, Saints Row uh, the Third Remastered, and Snow Runner. Because if you already have a stable revision of the drivers installed and they're working perfectly fine for you, then there's really no reason to update. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. There's still, uh, there's still some open issues. Um, the fixed issues in this release are RTX 2080 Ti, Rise of the Tomb Raider, DirectX 12, Blue Screen Crash occurs after playing the game for five to ten minutes. Uh, Doom Eternal, there's a black flickering in the game. And, uh, some DX11 games may fail to launch when image sharpening is enabled from NVIDIA control panel. And on the notebook side of things, graphical corruption may occur after resume from display sleep. This, uh, driver is applicable from the, uh, GTX 600 series all the way up to the current, um, RTX series, uh, lineup from NVIDIA. And, um, yeah, if you're going to try to leverage these features, then I would say go ahead and DDU your old uh, or what would be considered old drivers that, uh, that you currently have installed. And then go ahead and install these after you have DDU'd them from your PC. Um, really, that's uh, pretty much it. 
let's see. I don't really. It's 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 a pretty straightforward game ready driver uh, midterm update. So it's still a four four five series driver. So um, I did play uh, you know Minecraft so far. I tried playing Rainbow Six Siege for a little bit with these drivers, and I didn't see any performance benefits so far. Um, I'm guessing that that will really come once I actually have the Minecraft RTX beta installed and that's when I'll really appreciate these new drivers. But as for the time being, it's been stable for me. I've only been using it, you know, for the last hour or so, but in any case, in the last hour, it's been fine. There's no major corruption errors or blue screens or anything that I've noticed so far. And I have installed this on my laptop PC my uh, streaming PC and my main gaming PC and uh, it goes through the gamut. My gaming PC is 9900K with a 2080 Ti. My streaming PC is a MD Threadripper with a 1080 Ti and my laptop is a uh, GTX uh, 1080 SLI uh, 69, 6980 HQ CPU so basically it's been running stable on all three of these I've tried some games on all three of these and they've worked fine so I don't see uh, any immediate stability issues and if I do see stability issues one they'll either release a hot fix in which case it will fix those issues or two um, I will announce it if there is any significant uh detriment that comes with these drivers and maybe you shouldn't install them or something but otherwise for the time being um it looks like it's running fine so yeah if you want to go ahead and uh use this for the new minecraft uh rtx beta then i suggest you go and do so but yeah that's really pretty much it for today i kind of uh i get that i formatted this a lot differently um, currently I am using Optifine version 1.14.4 and I am using, uh, just to make sure that I give credit where it's due. Um, this is, uh, the SUS PTGI E12 RTX shaders and everything set to ultra graphics at 1080p and, um, yeah, everything is running fine. I will be amazed if, uh, even better performance comes of, the rtx beta version of this game and this is um so a server so credit to him my sources for all this new information regarding the new drivers comes from uh the guru 3d and uh yeah that's pretty much it um if you have any comments or questions please put them in the comment section below i'm sorry that i feel or i seem a little bit tired today i am indeed tired i've been up for over 30 hours uh live streaming on mixer and I went ahead and came over here. So if you have any questions and you'd like to speak with me live about anything, um, please come to my Mixer stream. I stream every day for about 16 to 20 hours a day recently. So, um, yeah, that'll be in the link in the description below as well. Mixer.com backslash cash me out too. Um, also, please like and subscribe on this uh on this video and YouTube channel if you enjoyed this content and would like to see more. I try to put out content as frequently as possible and uh, I'd like to get to every day, though that doesn't quite ha quite happen as I'd like it to, but I'm trying to make a concerted effort. So I do put out content every day and the more people come and watch me, the more it'll give me a drive to make more of these videos instead of just live streaming, which is what my main uh, gig is. So yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, thanks for watching today and bye for now.